All right, I have got a bunch of mushrooms in this yard. And they're ugly. Oh, there's the, um, let's see if I can get my finger on it. That's a big fat one. But there's a bunch of, uh, those yellowish ones, um, have been around a while. Show you over here on this walkway. It's covered in them. And then I've got, I've got them throughout. They're just everywhere. So, I am going to take this handy dandy baking soda and kill them. Um, yesterday I tried an experiment you can't see it i'm gonna go down there and try and show you but it looks like it killed them it looks like they turned black let's go see all right so i made it down here yep it worked let me see can you guys see that let's see so right here you can see those mushrooms are black and that's what i put uh the baking soda on now, i mean they're black they're not dead let me see what'll happen if i kick it Sure enough. Uh, that looks gross. And it's, oh man, my baking soda fell over. Good night. And it's been raining. So I did it also a little bit on this side just as a tester. And you can see the ones that are alive that I didn't put anything on. And you can see the black ones. So even though it's raining, it still killed them. So let's start on the walkway. Look at all these mushrooms. And they're so ugly. Like, look at all those mushrooms. Let me put some on here. So what I'm going to do is... Oh, look at that big one. But I don't want it to get on my moss. I'm going to sprinkle these mushrooms with the uh, baking soda. And then I'll come back and show you guys a progress report. Let me just go on and do this since I'm here. I don't know what all it kills, but I don't want to kill everything. Obviously. So, man, these suckers are trying to take over my yard. So, I'm going to go get some more baking soda and do that walkway. See what happens. Die, die, die. Stay tuned. Look at look at these mushrooms. Like, why are they trying to take over my whole entire yard? So so far I used a full thing of baking soda and probably three quarters. But look at all the mushrooms. So I'm gonna stop right there. I do have more baking soda, but I'm not going to lay it because, and I think the rabbit is what's tearing up my dirt and exposing all the plastic. But anyway, um, I'm going to hold off on adding any more baking soda because I wanna make sure it's not gonna have an adverse effect on like anything important. So, so yeah, I will keep you I'm gonna keep y'all posted. Um, I'll probably come back in two days. Today and tomorrow are rainy, but then the weekend is supposed to be um, dry and sunny. So I'll come out here and see, let the sun dry things up and hopefully dry them up. So as you can see, I've done a little bit of baking soda on the side here we got that big mushroom a lot of the little mushrooms i didn't get that whole area in the back i'm just going to leave that for a minute make sure this baking soda isn't having an adverse effect on my plants and then i didn't really put any over here there's not as many mushrooms yet over here my thighs are growing all right so here's the bird's eye view again of what i've done you can see this area, you see all the white baking soda, and then you see where I didn't put um, any in the, in the back there. And then come on around to the walkway, and I laid a bunch. 
start running out because I got over here, but, the, but I did lay. Let's see if I can get a good view of it. I'm going to run into my spider. Look at this. Look at this. I didn't come up here. There's a big one under this bush. Anyway, um, I don't know if you can see down there past that crab apple tree, but there's a lot of uh, baking soda there. So I'll be back. All right, so here we are two days later. Today is Saturday. And over here, you can see most of the mushrooms are gone. I guess I didn't put any there, any baking soda. And then over here, you can see that the baking soda killed the mushrooms. But not only did it kill the mushrooms, it looked like it killed the part, the moss that it got on too. So I have to be very careful. Um, I didn't. I didn't put any uh, baking soda back here, but um, I do remember the wind was blowing and it probably blew some over there because that moss went from that really bright uh, neon green to now it looks brown instead of looking all bright like that. Let's see. What else? Yeah, that big one. That's where the big one was. You can see the moss is partly dead and then there's another big one and there's a big one back there but all up in here is where we have them and they're gone dead dried up so the interesting thing is it it rained on the day it rained on the day that i put the baking soda out i mean it, it rained on both days and it's been raining like non-stop I mean, like, not non-stop, but like every day. I'm excited about the ferns that are coming up. So you guys remember this pathway was covered, and I'll give you the bird's eye view shortly. But this pathway was covered with them, and they're all all gone, except the ones I missed. There's a couple there that I missed. There's some over there. But all up in here was a bunch of mushrooms, and they're dead. So. For the record, baking soda does work for killing mushrooms, but it won't just kill mushrooms, it will potentially kill everything else too. So, uh, let's get the bird's eye view. All right, here's the bird's eye view. And you guys remember what that looked like. And it is clear now, praise the Lord. So, I suppose, I suppose what I'm going to do now is, or my next steps will be to cover, um, cover the moss and pour baking soda on the, on the rest of the mushrooms. Because everything else seems to be faring pretty well. Let's go on this side and see. I didn't put anything here. Look at those suckers. It's interesting how they're growing in that half circle, three quarter circle. Um, but yeah. So, you learned it here, folks. Baking soda is the way.